Hello and welcome everybody, what is going on? So we have just beaten Bayer Leverkusen 3-1 away from home in honestly a very, very, very good game. I did not expect us to play this good today, especially right after the winter break. I did not expect us to do so well, but we did. So, uh, going into the game, expectations were, in my opinion, very, very low. Um, you know... We've not we really you know beaten Leverkusen away for our three years, four years I think it is, and so you know the feeling was okay. It's it's just a, it's a return of the winter break, and we're playing it in a place where we've not really done that well lately. Um, this is going to be a very difficult game considering how well Leverkusen have actually done recently. It's going to be a very difficult game, and so my expectations were tempered in all fairness. But then actually you know seeing how we played first. 10, 20 minutes or so, you know, it was pretty equal, it was a pretty equal game, you know, both sides exploiting, you know, each other's weaknesses, you know, them countering the second we made a mistake, us countering the second they made a mistake, and it was just kind of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then I think after like 20 minutes or so, like, we started switching up and we started getting better and better and better, uh, and, and we had we started get we started gaining the upper hand and like starting creating more chances. Leverkusen they then struggled really getting back into the game. You know we contained their counters. We played much more secure, and uh, we ultimately then pounced on and um, from a corner um, where Vidal gets the ball, bounces off around a few players, and then lands at Javi's feet and he scores one. I mean our our players Javi, you know. That, 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 in the, that in of itself should tell you something that Javi scores, you know, he scores very, very rarely. But he's had a few good chances today, like all of them really from the corner. Every time there was a corner, he looked very, very threatening. Every time there was a corner, Vidal looked very, very threatening. So we had our uh, moments from set pieces as well as from regular play. Again, so we go into the first half, 1-0 uh, up. And, you know, you come out the second half and you're thinking, okay, like, all you have to do is just keep playing the way you did. And we did. We you know we slow, we we started off a little bit slower. You know, we started off not as good as as towards the end of the first half, but um, still in control for the most part. When well, slowly but surely Leverkusen started playing better and better as the second half progressed, and then we just counted them, scored a second goal thanks to Ribery, and that's when Leverkusen they just looked very very tired. Um, they fought, they kept fighting, they kept fighting to get back into the game. And they got a goal through two deflections. Two deflections in a shot. Yeah, that's that's kind of insane. I feel sorry for Ulrich in that case. Um, you know, they get a goal and, like, you know, everyone's thinking, okay, can they do something else or can we hold on, you know? So, I, I was personally one of the few people that I was like, yeah, it's Leverkusen. I, like, out of all the clubs in world football, Leverkusen is the one I don't expect to take their chances. So, I think we, got, we have won this game, essentially. I think 2-1 is going to be the final score. And slowly and surely, you know, the, the clock starts ticking. I'm thinking, okay, come on, bring on some new players. And uh, bring on some new players, yup. You know, um, bring Coleman on, bring Wagner on, you know. And he, and he does, and he does. And he brings them on, and Coleman just runs rampant. And Wagner came down, like, the last five minutes or so. He's okay, he, you know, he... he he basically harassed the players, um, basically what he's pretty much known for besides scoring, he, har he harassed the players and, uh, you know, like the last minute or so from like four minutes of additional time, we attack and Hamas gets fouled, free kick, edge of the box, Hamas takes the free kicks, takes the free kick, top left corner, boom, 3-1, brilliant result. And ultimately three points in a very very difficult place. So overall, I am very happy. Now there's obviously a few stand up players. Um, there's always a few stand up players normally, and I feel like today the stand up players were honestly. First of all, their defense was very very good. I thought all right. Uh, so I thought Boateng and Sula were very very good. Uh, I also thought that Hamas was very very good and Vidal was very very good, and that's pretty much all the stand up players in my opinion that we've had today. Uh, like the two central defenders, Boateng and Sula, and then uh, Hamas and Vidal. Um, personally, that was like four stand up players really to me today. But I am I'm, I'm not really let down that much by like all the players, even the players that you know from us that play that didn't play as well that play perhaps poorly. I'm not really let down that much because again, it is just a return. Uh, it's the return of competitive football, so it's gonna take you know a few weeks. But it's just I'm just glad that we actually won today, that we got the three points, especially you know in a difficult place, and it's just good to see ultimately. So yeah, anyway, that's my thoughts on the game. Um, 
I mentioned it in my last video, but there's going to be a few videos coming out this week and next week and actually for the rest of this month and early next month. Uh, so, you, did the camera just, I don't know, but so, I think the camera just like shaked or something, but, uh, but you know, just keep an eye out. Um, there's going to be quite a few interesting videos, not just boring, but interesting videos. So, I will see you guys uh, then and until then, peace out everyone and have a nice day. Bye.